I don't stain very many of my projects for a number of reasons. Probably the main reason is usually I like the actual color of the wood itself to show through and just put a finish over it. But the other reason is because it takes so long to complete a project that way because you have to stain it and then wait for that to dry and then apply the finish and I usually I just am too impatient. But I did decide to stain my cajon because, well, usually they are very colorful. And so I found this kind of burgundy colored stain that I'm gonna use for the box and for the tapa, that's that mahogany plywood that I picked up. I've stained it a golden oak color and that's gonna look really nice. So what I'm doing right now is I'm going to finish it with lacquer and let me show you how I'm doing that. I just want this to have a really, really nice silky finish. So the way I like to do that is use a brushing lacquer. Uh, what did I do with my brushing lacquer? Is this it? Oh yeah, here it is. I use that deft clear wood finish. The first coat, I use a sealer coat. And what I do is I take lacquer thinner and I pour the lacquer into a bowl and I pour the lacquer thinner in it. I thin it down about half and half. And I think that the brush is very important so I don't skimp on buying a good brush. This one has really nice soft bristles and it holds a lot of lacquer. So after I had that thinned out lacquer there, I applied it with that brush just kind of all over as evenly as I could and with only one stroke at a time back and forth avoiding brushing. And what that sealer coat does is it just grabs all of the wood fibers and well it seals them in so that you can apply all of the top coats. And yeah it looks really kind of blotchy right now but that's okay. So once this is dried and it's been drying for almost an hour now I'm going to take some 320 grit sandpaper and lightly scuff it up. Now I'm barely putting any pressure on this sandpaper. The whole point of this is to just remove any little wood fibers that might be sticking up and it just kind of knocks them down, makes a nice, nice smooth surface for all of the top coats. And it's really just kind of tactile. You just really want to feel and you'll feel any of those little fibers. Just want to knock those down. I've mentioned this before but it bears repeating because uh, one of the main differences between lacquer and polyurethane or varnish is that on those you have to sand between coats in order for the next coat to adhere to it. With lacquer it's actually kind of a chemical bond and so they just all fuse together into one thick layer. And then of course you want to take a tack, <coughs> excuse me, a tack cloth and get all this excess dust off of there. Now I can start to apply the lacquer full strength for all of the top coats and I usually like to take some lacquer thinner and not really soak my brush but I like to just get it damp. I, I don't know, somehow it just the lacquer tends to flow a little bit easier. And I like to get a good helping of lacquer, let it completely soak into the brush. So I haven't really tapped much of the lacquer off of the brush. The trick to applying lacquer is to really do it as smoothly as possible in one stroke all the way across, come back, overlap, and finish up the sides like that. The worst thing to do with, with brushing lacquer is to apply it like a paintbrush back and forth because it dries so quickly it'll just start to peel off and you just have a mess on your hand. And it's really good to have the brush full enough that you can make it from one side and start pressing down, pressing down all the way to the end without having to refill. So here's what it looks like with my first top coat uh, on there. And now it doesn't look that great. It looks splotchy and there's little parts that are missed. And in fact, that's kind of the hardest temptation to avoid is trying to fill in all the little parts that you think didn't really get covered. Just let them be, let it dry, go on to the next coat. Remember, it's this overall building up of coats that matters. And when you're all done with those coats, it'll still look a little streaky and it has to be rubbed out to some extent. And that's where the true shine will come out. One other tip about brushing lacquer is that I don't clean my brush thoroughly between coats just because that it's kind of a pain to always clean that. So I clean it out a little bit in lacquer thinner. I may wipe it off a little bit. But then I leave it pretty much loaded with lacquer thinner and then I just kind of wrap it up in a towel like that. 
because my next coat I'll apply here in another hour or two and the brush will be fine. And this is my second coat. I've decided to move inside. I think that all of that bright sun was really heating up the wood and I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but decided to do it inside. So anyways, I'll go ahead and finish this up and then maybe on another video I'll post uh, the rubbing out process. It's really a simple one that I'm gonna do for this just to get a satin finish. 